गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू आर प्रीवियस लेक्चर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट यूनिट्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स पोटेंशियल एनर्जी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी वी ऑलरेडी हैव कैलकुलेटेड नाउ इट्स द टाइम टू कैल इवैल्यूएट इट्स यूनिट सो ऑलरेडी वी नो दैट पोटेंशियल एनर्जी u is equal to q into v सपोज वी हैव ब्रॉट एन इलेक्ट्रॉन सो व्हाट इज द चार्ज ऑफ वन इलेक्ट्रॉन whenever we are defining the unit we keep all the physical quantities as one that is why we are bringing on the suppose one electron so what is the charge in one electron 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 and suppose the potential difference we are considering one volt okay so make it unit and 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 and what we are calculating is potential energy so the unit is joule 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joule so one electron volt is how much 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joule, and this unit is used for the unit of potential energy. So, what is the value of one electron volt? That is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joule. Now, students, potential energy of a dipole placed in uniform electric field. Now, few of the students might be thinking that this topic already we have done. So, but students, few things were remaining. The special cases of this particular. Okay, so let us discuss this once again, and then we will come to these special cases. So, what is what was the topic? We have a dipole, and we have placed it in a an external field. Okay, so suppose this is a minus Q charge, this is a plus Q charge. Plus Q charge will go towards the field, minus Q charge will go away from the field, and because of this, the pair of two forces, one torque will be created, and what is the value of torque? Tau is equal to P E sin theta. And because of the torque, there will be a work done. And what is the work done? D W is equal to P E sin theta into displacement was we have taken out and we have already calculated the total value. And the net value was given by U is equal to minus P E cos theta or minus P dot E. So this is the total potential energy of a dipole when it is placed in an external field. So students, we have few special cases, three special cases. And please, wherever you have written this the topic on the same topic, you can continue these special cases. Okay. So for the the number one case is position of stable equilibrium. So when the dipole will be very stable, when theta is equal to zero degree, we are rotating the dipole in this way. Where it will be very stable. Okay. It will be very stable when theta is zero degree. Okay, it will be very convenient convenient position for the dipole because this plus Q will go here, minus Q will go here. It will be very convenient for it. So we have kept theta is equal to zero for a stable equilibrium. Remember, we have to remember the angles. Okay, for a stable theta is equal to zero. So U is equal to minus P E cos zero, and what you will get minus P because cos zero is one. Now, students, you can see here is negative sign and minus P. So, what is the minimum value of cos? Uh, means what is the minimum value we have got? Minus P. So, this is the minimum value. Totally, this is the minimum value. So, we can say the potential energy will be minimum if dipole moment is parallel to external field. The potential energy will be very minimum because dipole is already stable. Okay, the dipole will enjoy itself. So, no work has to be done and no potential energy is being exhausted. so this is the minimum potential energy now position of zero energy okay so where zero energy will be required as i explained you this topic i have told that the dipole on the bending was in this position at the 90 degree to the electric field now zero energy will be required when the dipole will remain there okay so when theta is equal to 90 degree no energy is required earlier the position of the dipole was same And now it is same. Okay, so no energy is required. So theta is equal to 90 degree. U is equal to minus P E cos 90. That is zero. So this is the position of zero energy. These questions are asked in the exam. Where is the zero energy of the dipole? So we will say where it is perpendicular to the electric field. Now position of unstable equilibrium. Where the dipole have to do the maximum effort. The dipole is like this. And we have rotated in this way, in this way, in this way. And we are bending in. This way, so when we are rotating it fully, means by an angle of 180 degree. So maximum work we have to do 
and because of the maximum work, the maximum potential energy will be stored. So this is why when theta is equal to 180 degree, u is equal to minus P e cos 180. What is the value of cos 180? The value of cos 180 is minus 1. So minus P e into minus 1 will be plus P e. So the potential energy will be maximum. Because dipole is like this and we are rotating fully. Means what we are doing right now, plus Q wants to be here and we are bringing plus Q here and minus Q we are bringing here. So the reciprocal, the totally reverse work we are doing. Okay, so we have to exhaust the maximum energy. So potential energy will be maximum in this case. I hope you understood all these topics. Thank you. God bless you.